Most of your mentors in life, I always say my mentors in life are people that have gone where I want to go. So anybody that has gone where I want to go, my goal is to get as close to them as possible and to study them. So we're sitting Let's right go. here. Done. I'm with Ian, and I go over this, and it's going to be this. My bank offers a better rate. Perfect. I say, hey, Ian, look, I, I like it, but look, my bank offers 3.9%. If I can just get a buyer's order, I'll go over to my bank. Um, that way I can get a better rate. Andy, first, thank you, man. I appreciate you telling me that and being honest with me. Look, everything's right with inside of the deal. It sounds like we're just at the rate. Is that correct? Yes. Okay, you look, number one, congratulations. You're a 736 credit score. High five, dude. Badass credit. Dude, you're doing a great job. Phenomenal. Do you want to know why you're not an 800? Do you want to know? Why? Look, I'm going to tell you why. Because you're, all your banking is with that ABC credit union, we need to diversify your money. The word's called diversify your money. If we diversify your money and have you with na nationwide lenders, nationwide across the nation, then you're not going to just settle with 4.9. Andy, that's not the best rate. You should get 0% on everything. The fact is we got to get you to an 800 credit score. So going with our rate, getting your foot in the door with a nationwide lender, that way your credit score can go to an 800. So we cool to go with that and we'll get your credit score to an 800. Okay, done. Here we go. Bring his brother. Come on, Evan, where you at? Get your out here, boy. Come on. Hey, I want Come on, Evan. I wanted to Come on, this one's in the bag, Evan. Let's go. This one's Come in on. the bag, dude. Come he ain't beating that. Evan, here's the deal. The pencil's down. Price, trade, payment, okay. everything. The rate's gonna be 4.9%, but I get 3.9% at ABC Credit Union, right? Okay. So I'm like, Evan, I appreciate it. I love all the numbers. Look, I can get 3.9% at my own bank. So I'm just gonna get a buyer's order and go over there, and then we'll come back tomorrow. Andy, I completely understand. Sounds like either way I'm gonna earn your business, but let me tell you a little bit smarter of a way so that way we can take care of your future. Has anybody ever told you why you're not or why you're not an 820 credit score? Look, Andy, you're, an eight, you're a 740 credit score, right? You spent years, time, money, everything to get to 740, right? So here's what I want to tell you. Has anybody ever told you why you're not an 820 or an 870? Uh -huh. Look, I got a guy here who's buying a car right now. Same scenario as you. Bought a car from me two years ago. Started at a 720 credit score, which, by the way, that's phenomenal. Here, give me a shake. But I'm going to show you how to be an unstoppable credit, have unstoppable credit, Andy. So look, hey, Logan, he's waiting on, he's waiting on buying a car from finance. Look, Logan, raise your hand. See that freaking handsome guy right there? Can't freaking miss him. Look, he was a 740 credit score like you. He's waiting on finance right now. Look, the guy can come in right now, get 0%. Shoot, sometimes I feel like I actually have to pay him to buy a car, Andy. Like he has like a negative interest rate. It's crazy, okay? Look, Logan can come in anytime. He can buy a car for me because we've been building his credit because we've been diversifying his portfolio. See, you have all your eggs in one basket right now. Diversify your portfolio. Let's be like Logan, so then you can move to the big daddy side. Ah! You know what I'm talking about? Ah! You know what I'm talking about? 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 Get the fuck out of here. That's fine, man. That was good. All right, guys. Damn it. Damn it. I was confident in that one too. You know, I, I just want to say this probably because he went second. Or Sean Pollard, he paid Sean Pollard somehow. One way or another. That's, that's fine, baby. I'm going to blame Sean Pollard for this one. That's it. All right, guys, that's it looks it. like we know who won that one. By the way, those guys do a good job. Yeah. That was killer, dude. That was killer. Okay. Win battle 2021. Yeah. Win battle 2022 is going to be the same deal. I'm going to open good. him up. That was good. That was good. All right, listen. That was badass. That was badass. Hey, guys. I want to say this to everybody, and I mean this. This is cool. But listen, so when I met these guys a long time ago, they were salespeople. They were selling in Colorado, and they were doing a good job, and they were great, okay? But the deal is, is that these guys, as great as they were doing, okay? There's another level. Sean Pollard kept reaching out to him and screwing with him. You guys going to come to the lion's den or just be little babies in Colorado? Yep. <laughs> okay, Sean was torturing them daily, all the time. 
finally they come down That's one day with their general manager, their team, everybody. And they come down and guess what? They thought they were going to come in and just watch how we did things. Well, me and my wife, I told them we're going to torture these guys. Okay? So we literally battled them and beat them and beat them and beat them. We're back in Oklahoma and we had fun. Guys, we've been doing this a long time. This is crazy. I want to tell you something. What's your life going to look like in a year from now? Okay? I know where these guys were a year ago and where they are today. And they are a hundred times better than they were a year ago. Not just like in like skill, but like in every area of life. And that's my goal to help you guys max out your max potential. Listen to me. Is there any limits? Okay? Guys, think about this. We've got a great program. We're growing like crazy. We love it. And I love recreating to you guys. Do you guys feel value with me when you train? Yeah. Do you guys feel like you see a better version of yourself and you understand some of the holes that you're missing in your dealership right now with yourself on making you money? Do you feel like you can, you understand it where it's at? Okay, watch this. Does everybody start small? Yes, I remember this, this is crazy. Me and her, we used to have our seminars back in 2019. We'd have them at our, at our house, mm -hmm. okay? And this, we're going back three years ago. And we would have the entrepreneur party, was what we called it. Everybody would come the night before. And I wanted to meet everybody I was going to train the next day because I felt like I wanted to get to know everybody. So when we trained, they were warm to me and not cold. If I didn't care about you, we wouldn't do the night before event. It would just be a seminar. You'd come in. Tell me this. Who in the hell do you go to train with that you guys spend that morning on Saturday with, the morning before, work out with them? get to know them. Y'all guys crush it, sweat, bleed together, grind each other down, push each other, go have coffee afterwards. And then that night, get together, eat some food, meet again, and make sure that we really understand each other. Most of your mentors in life, I always say my mentors in life are people that have gone where I wanna go. So anybody that has gone where I wanna go, my goal is to get as close to them as possible and to study them, okay? I went to a Patrick Bet David event. I, I've said this before. Me and my wife go, we spend 30 grand Okay, to train with them in person, okay, three day event. Then the last day, go back to his house. I'm thinking, I'm telling my wife, I'm like, dude, I'm gonna pick this guy's brain on all these things. I really wanna push him. It doesn't work that way. People really don't care. They really don't. What they wanna do is they wanna open a business, they wanna teach you some stuff, and they want you to go back home. We don't run a program like that. We run actually a really cool program. Me and her have always done the entrepreneur party the night before. You know what that meant? That means we supplied food, we got stuff together, we didn't charge anybody for that. We wanted everybody to come so we could meet everybody. We wanted to understand who and how and what and where everybody came from. And then the next morning we would train them hard. Well, when everybody would leave, remember, it was like 3 a.m. Mm -hmm. We would literally have people show up. It was supposed to be from six to eight, but when it's at your house, like you can't get people to leave. So next thing you know, it's 1 a.m. getting people out of your, your house. And guess what? We got a seminar starting the next morning, okay? But guess what? Then we have to clean up our whole house because our seminar is the next morning at our house. So we clean everything, and we're up till 3.30 in the morning, and then me and her back up at 6 o'clock, ready to put on a seminar the next day. And we started small doing that, okay? Our biggest goal is this. I don't care about the numbers game. I don't care if I train 20,000 salespeople or 20 million salespeople. What I want is the people that I train, I want them to become legends. I want you guys to be the best in the world. I need you to understand this. It's five o'clock. We've been together all day. We've trained hard. I want to know what does your commitment look like right now? Your time, your energy, the money, okay? The money you wanna earn, your dream. If I can close my eyes right now and I could literally think about my dream, my dream is this guy right here that's been selling cars for three years. You know what I mean? This guy to unlock right in front of my face and to go get everything he wants. That's what I want, okay? I want that with all you guys, every single one of you, every man, every woman, I want that. I want her, listen, she's his, her, 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 she's his wife. Um, my wife knows when I come home if I'm fulfilled. Does that make sense? You guys all have somebody back at home waiting on you. Most of you do, okay? When you walk through that door, when you see him not on fire, it breaks your heart, doesn't it? You wait all day long to see this other person come home, right? You know that you, they knew that you came to this seminar and you're back at home now, you're working hard. When you come through the door, right? It's like door opens and I'm like, there's my wife and I'm like this. And I'm like this, and she's like, really? All f day, that's what I get, I get this shit. You go out, you're trying to talk, right? Mm -hmm. But all day long, you're out there trying to sell people and do this. You guys should come through that door and be like, baby, oh my God, Don't listen to me. Out, guys. Don't get I love you so much, you're everything to me. 
Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for being there with me. Thank you. All I could think about all day long were our dreams that we set together. It's all I can think about. It's at the forefront of my mind all day long. Remember I told you guys this morning when I was leaving, my kids, I was dragging them out the door, okay? Some of you guys left your kids. You're gonna go back home to them. Don't ever leave them again without freaking making sure they know how much you love them. Make sure that when you're with them, you shower them with massive love. Guys, listen, there is a life that we can give that no one else in this world is gonna give you.